What's your name? My name is Travis. Travis? DJ Travis Speak. Really? Yeah. And And were you born with that name? I was not. So you chose it? It was given to me. That's good. By someone that I guess you really care about. I did, yeah. Okay, but you kept the name. Yeah. So if anything came out of it, you got a great name from it. Yeah. That's cool. So Travis, what do you do that's so um, important? Because you definitely have a huge presence. Yeah. It's weird. Is that uh, not your real? No, it's absolutely not. But uh, I, See, I'm a gullible human. I was yeah. kind of thinking, it looks pretty good. It worked at Burning Man. It did. Yeah. 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 And what do you do? I'm the DJ for Carnival Royale. Oh, I met Carnival Royale. Yeah. Wow. So they have a DJ in their band. Do you go like? Eh, 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 eh? Yeah, I do a lot of scratching in the band. Uh, kind of like scratch composition stuff, and then I do transitions like we uh, transition from like rock into like hip hop and stuff. Oh, really? And then back into what we're doing. So can you give me like three transitions of artists and how you do it? It's all my own production. So you write? I make the, Michael the writes all the music, yeah. Um, it's it's kind of like mashup stuff though, it's like it varies from show to show because I get bored. So tonight? Like, tonight, uh, I got some Snoop, okay. little Snoop. Into? No, it's into my, it's back into our stuff, into the carnival stuff. Okay. Um, uh, some like new funk stuff that if I said it, you couldn't even find it right now. Um, and what the hell? Oh, some Run DMC stuff like samples. It's all like okay. I, you know, I'm in the like, so, 80s, 90s. I have a big question for you. Are you good at like um, mixing songs together and stuff like that? Yeah. Like if I knew two songs that I wanted mixed together, do you know how to do it? Yeah, if they go together, I mean, not all songs go together. I, mean, I know they would go together. You know, it's part of the art of DJing. Is, uh, you know, I mean, it sounds all good if you, you hear it in your head. But, like, there's a, a thing called BPM, BPM yeah. in it. And yeah, yeah tr- tracks got to link up beats wise. I heard there's a there is a program for that that kind of lines them up. Because I tried in GarageBand, but I can't do it. Nothing really. Nothing lines up anything automatically like it's a big misconception about a lot of the digital how long have software. you been doing stuff like this 15 years wow so you're the pro i started on vinyl and now i work out of my computer of course uh all my records are in my computer so i go out with technically now. 10,000 records yeah, in, my, I believe it. in my backpack you yeah. have a hard drive uh, i just uh, it's all on my computer i mean i have a mac nowadays so. 500 game car drivers. And where were you born? Uh, Jersey. Really? Do you still live in Jersey? No. So you crossed over? Yeah, I grew up in Connecticut. Anyway, what part? Right outside of Hartford, Hebron, Connecticut. Wow. So you went from Connecticut to Jersey? Jersey to Connecticut to New York. And, and are you happy now? Yeah, I'll never, well, I wouldn't say I'll never leave. Uh, well, it's a hard place to leave. It's a hard place to leave, yeah. It is. How long have you been living here? 14 years. Oh, so like as long as you've been doing this already? Yeah. A little bit before uh, I started. A little bit before I moved here. I've been here 12 years, actually. That's okay. It seems a little longer when I think yeah. about it. But I've been teaching about 15. That's cool. That's good. So on my show, we would like to ask for a skeleton from your closet. Can you share your Yeah. It's a little thing that either your mother doesn't know or uh, some mistake that ended up being the best thing that ever happened in your life. My mom made everything. I'm so close with my mom, it's stupid. Like, I, she actually knows all my... She knows all my things. Uh, That's good. I like that. You know what? The weirdest thing that ever happened to me, like one really weird thing, but I'm, I have a lot of, I'm straight, I have a lot of really close gay friends. Yeah. And uh, I was in the rave scene when I was a teenager, and I kissed one of my friends on the mouth, like a gay friend of mine, like, you know, like a side kiss. Like yeah. A, like yeah. A, one of these. My little brother was in the mall, and he saw it, and actually, like, basically ratted me out to my old school that I was gay. Um, but it, like, you know, it, it just kind of makes you a stronger person because it didn't really matter to me at all. Right. And, you know, I, you know, 
Right. I don't even know, you know. It was but kind it was of like, a funny thing. Yeah, it was a little weird. You know, I had to like kind of get over my little brother selling me out. But he didn't understand. And right. it was a big, you know, growing experience. Of, like, so how is he now? Did he, it help him? I don't know. I, I mean, I think it makes it all closer. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. We're way closer. This is, I mean, years and years ago. Years ago. I mean, exactly. 20 something years ago. And awareness is quite different these days than yeah. it was then. Absolutely. I mean, it was, at that point, it was kind of like, holy shit, like my brother might be gay. And right. I have I have brothers who are gay. Yeah. So, I mean, I kind of so grew up with that. I love gay people. It's awesome. It's all people. Yeah, there's some people. good ones and there's exactly. some not good ones. That's why I didn't give a shit. You know, like, it kind of went around my school. Was it like, in oh, Connecticut? Man. Yeah, Connecticut. So, it's like, you know, if something happens like that in a small town. It's, it's a like, big news. It's like, holy shit, uh, yeah, you know, and I was like a star athlete, so. what you like, do? What kind of happened? Uh, <laughs> yeah, this sounds ridiculous, going with that, I was a national champion gymnast, and I was also uh, You were what? Gymnast. Really? Can you yeah. do back handsprings yeah. and stuff still? Yeah. Yes. Can you do one now? I could if I didn't break my wrist six weeks ago. Uh, yeah. I've, I've always had, like, this thing for back handsprings. Yeah. I would do one right now, and everyone that knows me knows that I would do one right now, but I'm nervous to fall on my face. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Yeah. How'd you break your wrist? I got run over by a cab about six weeks ago riding my bike home. Ah, do you wear a helmet? No, I don't. Not even now? Nope. Are you gonna? Nope. Why not? Because they look funny. They know, but you're a gorgeous baby. Thank you. I mean, maybe someday I will wear a helmet. My friends are trying to get me to wear helmets, but well, maybe it's a good idea to think something about. It. I'm, I'm contemplating it. All right, well, let's start. So, do you have a shout out, a website? How do people find you? They find me at djtravesty.com. DJ Travesty. Thank you so much. T R A V I S T Y. Dot com. DJ. DJ. All right.